There we are. Okay. Audio is on. My voice is a little croaky because I only got up kind of recently. I got some stuff to do today. But as usual, we're doing a check-in stream to uh, see what's up with my Animal Crossing village. It's island. Island on a village. Vill village on an island. It's It's still early for me. Sorry. <clears throat> hey, Isabel. What you got to say today? Oh, it's Cat's birthday. I'm ignoring Cat. I want her to move out because I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get Bo. I got a, a keychain for the amiibo. Um, so yeah, uh, Drago. Oh yeah, I met Drago on an island, so I'm glad he's here. So yeah, I ordered, you can get the Amiibo card with just the NFC chip put into a keychain with like a mini version of the card on eBay. They're like 13 bucks, a little under that with shipping and stuff. Um, you can get any villager, I'm pretty sure. So if you're interested in getting just the NFC chip in a cute little keychain, that's the way to do it. So I'm going to use that to get Bo. And I'm uh, yeah hoping that he kicks Cat out. Because my, by my understanding, it's like you got to... You gotta go every, um, you gotta go, like, once a day is all you can do, and after three days, they'll be like, I wanna move in, but there's no space, and then they can be like, I'll ask somebody to move out, so, hopefully that's Cat if I ignore her for a week, since she just moved in, but, you know, it's not that I don't like Cat, I just don't have any, any particular feelings for her right now. So we're gonna throw away Daisy May's letter. <gasps> Sahara! Ooh. All right. Nook shopping. Right, right, right. These are all the things I bought, which I'm gonna use some for my house. Um, I finally, I completely upgraded my house. We did a whole thing. Uh, my roommate was one of the lucky people that got turnips at 500 something bells. It was like 565 bells each. So yeah, we we cleaned up. Oh, cool. Um, so we cleaned up. I paid off my house entirely. I still have like five million bells. And yeah, it was pretty sweet. Um, we used a little bit of time travel. I time traveled back. Okay, you can't give me crap for time traveling back because I lost progress. I lost stuff by time traveling back. So it's not really cheating. But we did use it as a loop so that we could get millions of bells. So maybe it is cheating. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's 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 not really cheating because it's like a single player game. The multiplayer kind of plays into it, but like it doesn't matter that much. So you can curse me all you want for doing that, but I feel that it is fine. Sorry. All right, let's get Sahara. I need to buy I need to buy some rugs and definitely need some more flooring and wallpaper as I was designing my house. Um I realized like I really Desperately need more wallpaper and flooring. <laughs> Apologies for the noise. My neighbor is a hot rod enthusiast, so he might be blasting his engine every now and then. Nope. 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 <laughs> Don't go away quite yet. I got a lot of stuff to get here. But let me know in the chat if there's any weirdness with the audio or video. I know there's a little weird desync with the video. I, I'm trying to figure out why it does that. But um, in the meantime, like if there's any like audio drops or any any weirdness that you see, uh, let me know in the comments and I will do what I can to fix it. I love Sahara so much. She's she's adorable. She got those big old camel eyelashes. God, camel camels are one of those animals that just have huge eyelashes. But um, it mostly just matches up with the rest of their huge honking face. All right, I'm gonna get all three because I want to support a not local business but a small business. My apologies. This is my breakfast. I've been, I've finally been working out again. Back last, like, um, 
October, I started working out like really hard and I was getting some good results. I was like getting, um, I was still like overweight, but it, it was starting to be muscle rather than fat. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I the last couple weeks, I'm, I've got back into it. So protein shake breakfast. Um, yeah, I hopefully we'll get some kind of results from that. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm lucky enough that with genetics, I kind of top out at like a little under 220. I've never been more than like 220 pounds, I'm pretty sure. Maybe like 221. Um, which at six foot two, that's only like 30 pounds overweight, which still isn't super healthy, but it's not the worst. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping to get back down under 200. I think technically the the BMI for my high healthy weight would be like 191 or something. But I, if I can at least get like to 200 or just under that, I would appreciate that. But I don't know, we'll see. Uh oh, well, I already got the wallpaper flooring. I should have thought of that. Should have thought of that before I bought it. I know, honey, I already bought it. Do you not remember? Okay. Um. Oh, Sahara. Did I already buy the small one? I kind of like lost track while I was going on that rant about fitness. I always, I have, like, these weird quarter-life crisis moments of, like, I need to work out, I need to get, like, in shape, because if I don't do it now, it's just going to get harder as I get older. Um, so... I... Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get in some kind of shape. Especially because I have such a... Uh, I'm getting, like... I, I, I just have a sedentary job. Sorry, my brain. I'm like reading and doing the... It's hard to play a game and also talk and stuff. Um, but... Uh, I, I'm... Uh, yeah, I, I have a very sedentary job being an audio professional. Mainly voiceover, but also some other stuff. I do production for people. Um, so it's important that I get at least some amount of exercise to... In some way combat that excuse me oh excuse me I know I, I'm turning away so that you don't hear it but uh I get a bit gassy when I'm just having a liquid breakfast really any breakfast ah, food human stuff you know all right let's see All right, I'm going to actually pop KK Synth into the machine here. I like synth music quite a bit. I uh, I I follow a lot of people who are really into synth. I just it's mainly the the idea of synth that I like. The the music it, it depends on the uh. The musician, whether or not it's really all that good, but I, I love the, the concept of just having noises that are perfectly controllable, but really unpredictable. It's it's cool. Electronic music. At least modular synth stuff. I, I, I enjoy that. Okay, so let me do a quick tour of my house, because I've changed some things up. I got this guy. Spooky. Um, I moved the chairs and stuff. This guy's over here. Praise the bug. Praise the bug. Praise the bug. Praise him. Good. Okay. Uh, I got this. Tucked over here. Got that. I finally got my bronze plaque for um, for the Happy Home Academy because I got like 52,000 points this last time. Now that I have a full house and I've actually decorated it. I got this flooring from Coco. I like it a lot. Um, got some soup and some tea. Hold on. Nice. Okay, uh, got a little DIY bench, closed closet. That's just so that I can run in and do that real quick. Then, over here, you will see, once it loads, 
my kitchen. This is where all the cooking happens. Oh, it actually makes noise. I, I, with how my stuff is set up through the monitor, if I'm not like on stream, I can't hear it because my monitor doesn't have an audio out. Uh, my controller has an audio out, so I could technically do that, but I, I don't bother most times. It's too much of a hassle. But uh, yeah, so we got a little industrial sink for washing your hands, which is important. Oh wait, that's that's what that is. Nope, nope. Hold on. That's what the noise is. That's the sink going. One of my friends must have left the sink on when I invited them over. Let's put this away and turn that off. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's the sink. I thought that was something cooking on the stove. I'm an idiot. Please ignore me. Ignore me, but uh, keep watching, though. Yeah. Uh, we got this cute pink fridge, which is considered a closet, I found out, so... Should I change? Gotta keep your clothes real toasty. Gotta freeze your jeans, people. So we got that. We got a big old chest freezer. We got this clay furnace, which is cooking, like, some rice, braising some stuff. That's pretty cool. You know, like that. Got this awesome diner clock. Really love that. Uh, this is the chalkboard that was in my studio area earlier, and I've moved it into here, so it's like, oh, I gotta write a recipe down or something. Uh, I got the kitchen island, spice rack, with a knife block. Whoops, not what I meant to do. I meant to... Eh, nope. Ah, crap. Hold on. Whoops. Hold on. I got this. I got this. I'm gonna fix it. Nope. Nope. Oh, maybe. Nope. 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 <laughs> it's weird because it's at like a weird uh, angle. <laughs> okay. Okay, I did it. So that's my kitchen. Moving on. Um, you already know this area. KK Synth is really quiet. Maybe it's. Nope. There it was. I guess it just takes it a minute to come in. Okay, um, so we have a improved studio area. It's got these awesome red curtains, like the Black Lodge or something, which it would be awesome if I could find some Black Lodge style uh, flooring, but for now, we'll just say it's for audio treatment. It's got this big shaky rug for the same reason. And then it's pretty much the same little thing, chair, board game, uh, that, oh, that's right. The chair is a little, it, I can't get in it because there's not enough space. Let me actually fix that real quick. Just gotta scoot everything over. Just one. We'll scoot all of this. Oh, oh excuse me. And we... Ooh, there. Now I can sit. And this is more or less... I mean, it would be a camera rather than a microphone, but... This is pretty much my setup for uh, whiteboard games, my YouTube series. Let's just, uh, aha, I'm having a great time filming. That's, that's how it feels. It's not a gr grueling <laughs> work. Filming stuff is difficult. Uh, I'm, still, I'm still getting the hang of filming stuff. I'm not exactly great at it, but I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best, I'm working real hard, and I hope you all enjoy it. If you ever go to my YouTube channel, which is on the bottom right there, youtube.com slash user slash Iggy and the Ape, I got some fun stuff there, you know? Uh, I haven't updated in a bit, but I'm gonna rectify that soon. Here's the workout area. We got a little place to rest. Got the punching bag. Punch, 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 punch. We got a place to drink, hydrate, Hydrate, fill up your water bottle, stick your head underneath, whatever you want to do. Got a couple of couple of exercise bikes, which I I wish you could actually get on these, but you can just you can only turn the screen on. And a wardrobe so you can change before you work out. This is cute. Oh wait, I actually have like gym mat flooring. Hold on. Hold on, let me actually uh, change that up. Just a sec. Let me go back in there. Here we go. Okay, uh, I think it was one of the things I bought in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Place on floor. Boom! Gym flooring. Nice. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, it actually makes a little squishy uh, mat kind of sound. That's one thing I really like about this one is the attention to detail with the, the floors and, like, the, the places you walk. It's all just, like, accurate. Ah, oh, crap. I meant to go down the basement. Give me, give me a minute. Sahara's still hanging. All right, let's go back in. Oh man, frame rate's a little choppy. I want to deal with that at some point. It's mainly just that my computer isn't super powerful. It's just a laptop. It is a, a MacBook, so more powerful than some laptops. But yeah, I need to get a dedicated PC at some point. So this is where I keep my turnips in my turnip dungeon. I also have two little shelves. Got a lantern here. In fact, let me uh, turn the light off. Yeah, make it real spooky. And then yeah, I got a tool thing, breaker. Uh, this is technically a bench, but I'm gonna pretend it's a work table because I don't have another outdoor table. I need the one for whiteboard games. I gotta get a better table for that. Oh man, if there's a poker table or something in here, that'd be awesome, because that's what it's gonna be. I have, um, I'm, I've recorded an unboxing and like review thing, but I, I haven't put it up on my YouTube yet, but I got this huge, board gaming table that's awesome. It's got like felt and the padded rails. It's technically a poker table, but I'm gonna use it for tabletop gaming and for whiteboard games. So I still only have a cot. I haven't gotten a better bed. I got all these autographs, which is cool. You can see KK's autograph. Whoop, spoilers, don't look over there yet. Got an, a locker, mirror, just put the switch up top. Just as some intrigue. Map, bear. And then this is the closest approximation I have to my actual setup that I'm at right now. Um, which is just, you know, a desk in the corner with a microphone and a thing. Uh, there'd be a computer on it, but that's not an option right now. And then, to fill out the wall a bit, we got some costumes. We got the Egg Day costumes, which I realized I don't have the Sky one. So, um, I, hopefully somebody has some eggs. Some of the sky eggs so that I can craft that. I uh, got the hot dog costume and the caterpillar costume. But yeah, once I get the sky one, it'll go in that spot right in the top middle. And we got an antique clock. So that's my house. Could be better. Definitely has been worse. So I'm putting some effort into it now. I apologize for any mouth noises. I'm still... Uh, Still pretty, um, waking up, as I said. Oh, that's right. I, uh, I moved the museum. So this is where the museum used to be. And I'm gonna probably fix these tulips to be, uh, more spread out. Um, but yeah, that is where the museum was. Let's see if there's anything cool. Hey, Phoebe. What's up? Oh, it was Phoebe's birthday. Uh, last Wednesday, so unfortunately y'all got uh, missed that, but I got her a flannel, wrapped it up and everything, and she loved it, so we are good friends. Plenty of cream. I can, I, I can do black coffee, but it has to be good coffee. Too often, like, the coffee we got is just, like, whatever cheapest. 25 bucks for, like, a hundred K-cups blend from like Walmart, so it's not good coffee, but with some cream and sugar, it has caffeine. And coffee, coffee is more natural caffeine, so it's better for you than like an energy drink, which I also do a little too much, so. Ooh. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. It's Lucky. He says that one a lot. Yeah, it's a monster one. And I realize, I realize that I'm covering up some of the words with my camera. But the overlay is baked in the way we drew it. So, uh, not much I can do about it in this way. But it's fine. You guys know what they're saying. I will, if it's anything that I think is extra funny, I will read it aloud so that you know what's being uh, missed on the side there. Right. Lucky. Quilson, you can't, uh, they won't actually, like, chat with you if they're sitting down like that. I found out recently, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let Quilson chill. 
Gotta get the jewel beetle. Nice. All right. Um. Oh, and Leonardo is home. You can tell because his uh, his shades are drawn, which means that they're home. Uh, it's also you can see the light if it's darker, but it's kind of difficult. Oh, sweet! He's doing DIY. That means I'm probably gonna get a uh, a uh, yes trophy case. There we go. That's something. Oh yeah. Teach me. Teach me how to make the case. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk. I the, the the rule of thumb that I heard from Coco is you should talk to them at least three times to make sure that they don't want to move out. But I don't know. I, we watched a video recently where it was like the myth busting the Animal Crossing stuff, and like that was one of the things is like how do you actually make them move away and like what keeps them there and it's basically just how many times they interact with you so even if you make them angry by pushing them around that counts as an interaction in the code one interaction and that will make them take longer to want to move away because there's like a uh, there's like an invisible like affection meter or like stat i don't know it's it's surprisingly sophisticated but it's all obfuscated to make it more uh more relaxed whoa big fish big fish I did get an ore fish yesterday, my first ore fish, which uh, is pretty sweet. I've been I've been wanting to. I was the only person living here who hadn't yet. Um, well, I guess uh, my my roommate's kid has not, but um, he does not play very much. We got it for him, and he he plays pretty much only when he's over every other weekend, which is. I mean, if that's what he's gonna do, we can't really force him to play more. But we let him know it's like they'll they'll all want to move away if you do that. All right. Yeah, go, go. Oh, a pill bug! I gotta catch the pill bug, but I gotta get these first. Oh, man, after after it took me so long. To, no! Oh, he climbed in the tree. After it took me so long to get the pill bug statue last time. I, uh, I've been getting pill bugs left and right, so I guess I was just really unlucky on the, uh, spawn for those. Hmm? Whoa, whoa, fish! Oh, that's a, uh, Christian carp? Yeah. I'm starting to spawn by sight now. I'm getting pretty good. No! Oh, man. A fishing rod. Oh, 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 uh, that's, uh, actually, you guys haven't seen my Nook's Cranny. Well, you probably saw it earlier. I just didn't mention it. My Nook's Cranny has upgraded, so now I can actually get, like, custom cool tools. Oh, hey, Marcy. Let me talk to you real quick. Yeah, they've all been talking about the shop lately. <coughs> Let's chat, bruh. <coughs> mm. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Another diner clock. Probably grab that and give it to Coco. Okay, cool. Um, let me sell some things. Oh, and I should check the turnip prices. Let's see, let me sell the things first. Uh, fish. This, that. Mm, this, 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 that. And done! 4,200 sold. Alright, so let's see, what do we got? We got a, uh, what is this, a roll top book, or desk? An antique bureau. Well, yeah, I'll buy that. Oof, 20,000. Well, I do need more furniture. Uh, ooh, pirate thing. Skull door plate. I like that. 
Oh yeah, okay, hang on to that one. Oh god. Felt that one coming on early. And we'll buy this for Coco. I know they're in limited supply, guys. They act like I ain't been in here every day. Alright, let me talk to them. Let me get those turnip prices. And they are... Ah, 78. I bought them for 92. So, they gotta be at least higher than that. I didn't know until recently that they change, uh, uh, they change in the afternoon, so I have to check in the morning and the afternoon, but whatever. Uh, okay, they just got the, the fish one again. I'll buy it! I'll buy it at a fine price. Alright, colorful net. Buy that. Yeah, I already have the black outdoorsy shovel, but uh, I love this folding shovel design. I want one in real life, but I just... I don't have a need for it, because I'm not super outdoorsy, so I feel like it'd be a waste. I just... it's cool. I like things that fold. As you may notice from, like, my studio tour and stuff, I like things that are, like, compact and fold up. Um, oh, wait, there was, like, a cool umbrella in there. Hold on. Like, my bed folds up and is all compact. Uh, the folding tables I use for recording and stuff, which you will see that when I put up that uh, that unboxing slash review of the table. But it's going to be a little bit. I mean, it's I just got to edit it and upload it. So I will probably put it up later today, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put it up later today. Um, let's see. Ah, Kurt! Good, I don't have to go all the way up to his house. Oh god, his voice is so deep. What's the latest? And Peggy. Peggy, Peggy. Aw, oh, hush, Kurt. You're cool. Peggy! She's going out for lunch. <laughs> I love Peggy so much. I think Peggy might be my favorite current villager, but... Bo is still a definitely a fave, so I have- I gotta have him. He's the only one where I'm like, I gotta have that guy. Oh, yeah, and Drago, I gotta go talk to him. Um, okay. Nothing new in the bulletin board. Uh, oop, that's Phoebe. I already talked to you. Um, just gotta check if I'm not missing anything out here. Gotta pick up the sticks. I am gonna renovate stuff, but I wanna rearrange. I wanna wait, honestly, until I have the, uh the landscaping permits so that I can like physically change shapes and stuff. Okay, nothing super cool there. Uh, da -da -da, pick up the sticks. Yeah, clean up this town. Not from crime, it's just kind of dirty. That's a rock. I think I fished that up yesterday and just kind of dropped it. Set. Oh, that's a citrus beetle. Well, may as well. Sneaky. Yes, got him. Spoilers, I guess. I know it shows up a little later for y'all. Gosh. Yeah, the frame rate ain't great. I mean, it just kind of cuts here and there. My apologies. I'm gonna get a stronger computer at some point. I really- I have, like, nothing else running right now, so it is just... Computer is kinda not great. Although, I did add, like, another admin account. I will probably delete that and see if that helps. I don't know. I- I- I'm not... I know computers on a very basic level, like, the very basics of code, and I know... 
on kind of a more superficial level as far as modern computing goes, but uh, yeah, I don't really know that much about modern coding. So maybe I should learn. Maybe maybe I should learn that. It's it's definitely a useful skill, and it's only going to become more useful as we like do more technology stuff coming up in the future. Especially right now, like we're very dependent on technology at the moment with everything, with uh, everybody being stuck indoors and having to work from home. That's a rock. I don't need a rock! Ooh, DIY recipe. Let's uh, open that up so that we... Ah, oh, I gotta learn the trophy one too. I should've... I should've dropped off all of the flooring and wallpapers when I was in my house, but uh... Oops. Oh well, I think I have enough space for the stuff I want to do right now. Nope, nope, come on, come on. Nope, nope, wait a minute, go there. Oh, yup. And we're going. Fish, fish, fish. I'm trying to fish more, because I don't have a lot of the really cool fish, and I feel like a big part of it is because I just haven't been trying to get them. Oh, well, I get the nook miles. Actually, uh, really quick, I'm gonna take a biology break, so I will, I will be RB, folks. Okay, I am back to you, folks. Pretty sure. Let me double check. Yes, my microphone is on. My mic sounds nice, check one. Oh, whoop, not close enough. Let's get that fish. Get that fish. Oh. Get him. Ah, uh, fish! Oh, gosh. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay, so... Beach is pretty cleaned up. So let's run around. Ooh! A balloon. Nope. Bam. Got it. Uh, okay. Hey. I. Wait a minute. 
Oh, yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff. Okay, um... This sweater's kind of cute, but I think I'm gonna go with the, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Okay, uh, I don't have much... What you, uh... What you up to, Peggy? You just looking at the book? Okay. Oh, oh audio cut out for a second. It's not as bad as, uh... Gosh, in, uh... In my... Banjo-Kazooie stream, sometimes I'll cut out for, like, minutes at a time. Which is unfortunate. Uh, oh, I can't drop the fish! Uh, so just swap it, just swap it. No, my shovel! Hmm. Pretty sure I got another shovel. Yeah, there we go. Uh, looks like Robin is not home. Yep. That's, that's what I said. Gosh, Robin. Pick up other sticks and before we go to the second layer oh hey money tree nice that was another thing in that myth busting video um so how did he describe this basically there are if you like do code mining you can find out the actual like probability of how um how likely it is for certain certain trees to do certain stuff. So if it's uh, under a hundred, it's like guaranteed to be a thousand or something. If it's a thousand to like nine thousand nine nine nine, it's uh, gonna be pretty... I was not paying attention and I filled that hole in. I'm real stupid, I apologize. Um, but it's like, if you do that, then there's like a chance that it will be the amount. It's like 20 to 70% chance it'll be the amount that you buried. And then uh, with 1,000, it's like 100% that it's going to be that. But then it's with 10,000, you're guaranteed... Or what was it? Your... Um, Uh, no. Uh, with 10,000, and, uh, it's guaranteed to be 10,000, so 3 times 10,000, and anything above that, it's only 20 to 70%. So, in reality, the most efficient way to do it is to do 10,000 every time, because that means that you're going to get, uh, uh, 20,000 profit on it every time if you do that every day that's still like a million whereas there's always a chance with the other ones that if you don't do that that if you don't get the exact thing and you only get 10,000 that you like definitely will not get enough okay let me drop some stuff off uh, all this flooring does not need to be in my pockets And all of these other housing items. Um, I got the umbrella because it's cute, but I don't really use the umbrellas. Whoops, not what I meant to do. <sighs> the tools always threw me off like that. Sorry, I just, like, spat a bit. I hope it, that was not visible on camera. Although the fact that I told y'all about it, uh, kind of defeats the point of that. In storage. I'll just put those in storage. You never know. Oh, and this sweater. Oh, uh, I think I'm going to plant my bamboo shoots. In fact, I should probably pull the other ones I got out of storage. So let's see. I wonder if that's a melody to something I've heard before. I felt like I was just making that up, but often when I'm making up a melody, I think about it for a few minutes and I'm like, no, I totally stole that from such and such thing. Such is the curse of being 
an original. <laughs> I try my hardest, but like, I'm just, yeah, I'm not incredibly clever. Oh, now Lucky's sitting. I still gotta talk to Quilson, so I wonder if he went back home or if he's just walking around still. We'll find out. All right, let me sell some stuff to the Nooklings. I want a soul. Uh, mm, I'll sell the shells, but I'm gonna hang on to the fish and bugs because when CJ and or Flick show up, they will buy the bugs and the fish for way more than the Nooklings will. So it's good to hang on to them for the rare times that they show up. I mean, rare is like every couple weeks, something. <laughs> okay, let's go drop those in storage as well. <clears throat> let's sit while it loads. <clears throat> that chocolate protein. <laughs> it's interesting, it keeps saying that it's at a decent frame rate. Then it says that there are no dropped frames, even though I see it, like, kind of chugging along. I think this is at 30 FPS. I might need to turn the frame rate up. That might actually be why it's doing that. Hmm. I'll look into that later. Um. That's just some housekeeping s stuff. Although most of Animal Crossing is housekeeping stuff. <laughs> hmm. Fish. Fish. Fish, fish! It's a sardine! Anchovy. Whoops. Stay away from my pizza. Lies. I love anchovies on pizza. They're so salty and fishy. <sighs> Hello, my bell. Oh, it's one of those doofy, like, devil masks. Ooh! Hey, speaking of which... Well, this is kind of apropos of the time, so, uh... Let me just slap that on. Where? Okay. There are places my bandages, but I'll go with that. Let's see, we also got, like, a farmer's outfit, construction worker... I gotta keep talking to Sable. Um... According to other people, if you keep talking to her, eventually she becomes more friendly. Um. <sighs> I feel bad bugging her, but she is talking to me more now, so... I guess there is some truth to that. I'm just... I don't know. I just wish I could talk to her more. Uh, sorry, I have allergies. Uh. Um, there's my hand sanitizer. I keep it by the tissues so that I can keep the snot germs off of my keyboard and mouse and such. Or controller in this case. Whoo! That is, uh, aromatic. Ugh. It's really cheap hand sanitizer. I'm getting low. Ooh, probably run by the Dollar Tree at some point to try and pick some more up. If they have it. I know how difficult it is to get right now. Hmm. Oh. Gotta get the graduation gown. It's it's clearly a Harry Potter style gown. Um Hmm. Anything else? Well, let's go with some square glasses. 
Oh, these. I do have a pair of these I've been wearing. Can't see it under here. Uh, I have. I don't like the leopard pumps, dude. Let's get some blue shoes. And let's go with a ooh track pants. Gotta go with the classic orange track pant, bro. Classic. I'm not gonna wear that out though. I'm gonna wear the uh this thing here. And that's, that's probably enough purchases for right now. I might come back and get a couple others, but it can get a little tedious. Okay. That's one thing that they need to change to being a bulk action, but uh... I feel confident they'll actually take people's feedback. I was talking with my roommate, and we were like, who knows, they didn't really fix stuff last time, but the difference is that now it's like, it's much easier to patch stuff, because you can trust that people have a strong internet connection for their device, and, if not strong, at least, like, passable, and, um... Social media is, like, actually more of a big thing, whereas when New Leaf came out, social media was still, like, finding its feet. You had maybe MySpace, but, like, you didn't really see stuff as much. Now it's, like, everybody's on social media. Um, so, like, I feel that they are at least seeing the feedback more, so they can't deny that they know about it. At the same time, though, Nintendo games... Nintendo has always been notoriously behind the times when it comes to technology, especially uh, connected technology. So I'm keeping my hopes fairly low, but I feel that there's, there's likelihood that they will patch things to be more um, user-friendly. Yeah, get the fish! Uh, Drago's house. Yes. Let's go talk to Drago. He's my newest boy. Hey -o. Talk to me, bro. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bud, I rearrange my room every couple months, so I understand. It's cool to be fickle about your environment, you know? Your environment is... what It's what you exist in, so it's, like, it's important to be... To not get, like, to, like, be comfortable but not get so attached that you can't freshen things up. Just moving your furniture around, like, I, I did pretty recently, um... Like, just rearranging your furniture, cleaning stuff up, and, like, reorganizing your life can really, like, make you... It, it just feels nice. Especially in these times. Like, it can feel kind of stale just staying at home all the time. So, that's my suggestion. If you're feeling, like, really cooped up, take, like, a few hours, maybe a day, and just, like, do some spring cleaning, rearrange your stuff, re-optimize your things. Because, like, the, the thing I always find is that... I'll get, like, you know, I'll, I'll find a way that fits, and it feels really good. But then I get some new stuff, you know, and the new stuff just kind of gets put on top of other stuff. You know, it's not really in the best place. And after a while, everything just gets kind of cluttered because there's so much stuff that didn't have a place for it. So by taking the time to not only throw away stuff that you already had, but to get, um, to put new stuff into better spots it's just it's refreshing you know it feels it feels more uh it feels good i mainly switch things up because i have the um the huge table now which even even folded up is like four feet across so i had to make room to be able to set it up somewhere and it's mainly just leaning against the uh the wall so, so uh Sorry, this pill bug. Whoop, missed him. Um. Uh, come on. There we go. Um. 
So yeah, I had to like switch stuff around and I really desperately need to get new furniture because all my furniture here is my roommate's furniture that he's uh, technically holding for his sister. And like, he it's not that he minds that I have it, but it's just like, it's just not me, you know? I like, I, I, it's just, it doesn't feel like my space quite as much. Which, I've, I've definitely personalized this space as much as I can with what I have. But I just, I need to get, like, my, a dresser that actually, like, fits my, like, tastes. And I need to get, um, I need to get a, uh, like, bookshelf. Because I have a bunch of books that are just kind of sat on top of the dresser. Um, I need to get, uh something to hold my board games so that I can have them in here rather than over in a closet in another room. Uh, I specifically want to get the the Kallax system from uh, 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 Ikea because it's modular and it's it's a very common one. Um, it's, a, it's a very popular one for board games, so I'd like to try it out. I could also get, uh, there's like these hidden cabinets Anybody who watches Shut Up and Sit Down knows I'm full of shit, and I just, I just want to get the thing that Quinn's or Matt has. <laughs> but it's like they know board games, and they have a lot more than I do. They have hundreds of board games, so if it works for them, it'll probably work for me. Um, so yeah, it's derivative, but it's like who cares? It'll work. The Klax one, I feel the modularness of it is really what makes me want to get it and I, I want to display my board games like when I get that stuff it's going right back there so that y'all can see it in its glory all of my my wonderful board games and not so wonderful board games we got you know we got the fun ones like Patrilla House on the Hill but then we got other ones like Monopoly Cheater Edition Risk it, it's a grab bag I got all sorts of different stuff um, I did like Monopoly Cheaters Edition. It's at least the only version of Monopoly. Well, not the only version. It's one. I the two versions of Monopoly that I own are the two that I actually do vaguely enjoy. Like it's still Monopoly, and you know how Monopoly it is. It's not really uh, Monopoly. It is. You know how Monopoly is. It's not the best game, and it's. It's really slow and tedious, but, um, uh, the two, ooh. oh, gotta slow, slowly inch in, um, but, uh, the two versions, got him, got him, okay, um, the two versions of Monopoly I own are Monopoly Gamer, which is, uh, the original, the deluxe edition, because it comes in a cool box and has these awesome plastic Mario coins, and it's basically just like Mario Monopoly, but it also like, it, it tweaks things to actually be like a fun game. Um, my main problem with it is that it en ends up just being a roll and move game that technically has an economy and stuff, but in reality, it doesn't matter. Uh, what you, like the, the real estate part of it is not actually that important. To the overall game, so maybe it's doing a disservice. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, maybe it's doing a disservice to the actual conceit of the thing. I don't really care because Monopoly is not that great, but uh, yeah, it's just a completely different game basically, which means it has the opportunity to be a good game. Um, so that one, I like that one. I got all of the expansions, which is to say, with that, it's like, it's got Mario characters, but then it also has additional Mario characters that you can buy in the little power packs. And they're not, they're not like a booster pack where it's hidden. Like, you can see what they are. It's just like, you know, it depends on whether or not you're going to be able to, like, get the one you want. Um. But... Did I get all the fossils? Yeah, I got, I got four. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's much faster, which makes it a lot better than Monopoly just to begin with. 
uh, because it's guaranteed to only have like three or six trips around the board, I think. Nine. It has nine trips. That... Okay, it depends on how many players, but at max, you go nine trips around the board because each time you pass go, you do a little boss fight, which is all of the Koopalings and then um, Bowser Jr. And then, like, everybody fights them, and you go until you win. So it's guaranteed after someone's pass go for the ninth time, uh, the game will end. Which is super appreciated. But it also means that the goal is not actually to, like, get real estate and stuff and bankrupt people. It ends up being just to get enough to be able to try out uh, all of the bosses. Because it costs money to try and beat them. Ah, finish that off. <clears throat> and then, um, the other Monopoly I have is... Actually, backing up a second, did you guys know that the Koopalings are not Bowser's kids or anything? They're not even related to him, they're just... They're just other Koopas. Which is weird. Like, it always seemed like they were his kids or something, but... No, his only kid is Bowser Jr. Um, uh, okay. Can't make a donation, I don't think. Okay, no, uh, oh! Have I really not donated an anchovy yet? Wow, okay. Uh, but the other version of Monopoly I have is Monopoly Cheaters Edition. Where you actively... Oh, let's actually see what this uh, is. There are more than 140 species of anchovy, but they do all have some things in common. They are all small and feed by simply swimming with their mouths open to filter feed particles from the sea. In my sleepier moments, I sometimes wish I could do that. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? That's my blathers. Do you like it? Oh yeah, uh, Cheater's Edition is pretty fun. Um, it basically, it has like additional, it's really weird. It has like additional um, like cards, like cards that they put out and it's like try and steal money from the bank or like go twice without anybody noticing. And the idea is it's kind of bluffing. Like you got to cheat without getting caught. And if you get caught, it's either you have to pay a penalty or you just go to jail. Um, but it's like, oh, he's not even in there. Where's Coulson at? I gotta talk to that guy. Um, hey, Kurt. Uh, but yeah, it's like, if you can do those, you get like additional bonuses, which is really cool. And it's, oh, there he is. Um, but the... The other things are like uh, one of the spaces just has a starts out with a house on it. So like if you buy that, you just it already has a house. It, it, it's so weird for them to do that. Um, and then the other one, uh, the other thing is that it comes with a pair of plastic handcuffs. So it like clips onto the board, well like slides onto the board. And it's like a little plastic handcuff that handcuffs you to the board by one of your hands if you're in jail. So, um, part of it, like, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So it just makes it harder to cheat. <laughs> and it's, it's really cute. It's pretty much just Monopoly other than that. Like, at its core, it's still just Monopoly, but, like, it's super funny to, like, do all of that on top of it. Um... Where is Robin at? Robin is probably in the museum or something. I will I will talk to Robin later. Um, for now, I gotta go in here because I'm working on moving stuff around so that I can fix my island up. Sorry, I got a text. I had to check it real quick. Um, and then... I think that'll do it. I think I just... Uh, I'll probably sell my stuff at the very end here, but yeah, I'm gonna move some stuff around. You can only move one thing a day, which I'm glad I figured that out, because I was gonna save it all for this stream, and that would have been kind of silly. Let's see, um... 
What am I doing? I don't need the ABD. I was just checking to get the miles. Sorry, I'm like distracted. Let me have some water here. Oh, that's the last of my water. Good thing I'm wrapping this up pretty soon. I don't want to dehydrate while I'm talking a lot. Let's check the recycle box. Cardboard boxes. Blue quilt wall, huh? I am going to take all these cardboard boxes at some point to uh, build some cardboard furniture, but I have not done that yet. Okay. Let's go to Thomas Nook. Let's see what he's got. Oh, I have a ceremony queued up. I don't remember what the ceremony's for, but yeah, let's do a ceremony for the stream. Uh, oh, okay, I have two queued up, so the museum or let's do Nook's Cranny first. I'll just, I'll do both ceremonies because they don't take that long. All right. Oh, there's Cat. Ah. Yes. Yes. Clap for them. All right. What do you guys say, Timmy and Tommy? Residents of Candy Isle, we've remodeled the Nook's Cranny, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yep. I've already been enjoying it for like a week. Because like the Nook's Cranny, I think upgraded last like Friday? Um, yeah, yeah, it was Friday. The it and the museum upgraded at the same time. Woo! That's the one I always pick. It's just funny to think like, can you say something? Woo! Cool. All right, getting ready to take the picture. Here we go. Let's hope for a continued growth and to celebrate Candy Isle's beautiful nooks cranny. Hooray! Poof, got it. Nice. Ah. Take care on your way home. All right. So does it take, it's been a while since I've done a ceremony, do I? Okay, it takes me over here. Wonder if Robin will be somewhere, no, nope, didn't reset their positions. So I'll find Robin later. I think that'll be my last, uh, my last thing on the stream is tracking down wherever Robin's at. Gosh, the frame rate's really, really tanking. I gotta, yeah, I gotta figure that out. I will figure that out before uh, the Mario Maker stream on Wednesday. Um, which, right now I am doing a Mario Maker 2, uh, stream, building up my world in Mario Maker. I built up, uh, one already, which you can watch in the pa past broadcasts. You can watch me build my first level for that and plan it out. And then, yeah, the upcoming, I'm going to do more of that every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. So come check that out. And then let's do the other ceremony. <laughs> I sure am. Let's get started. There's Blathers. I like to begin our special ceremony celebrating the grand opening of our fancy new museum. Thank you. As I'm sure you've all noticed, Candy Isle has gone through marvelous, wondrous changes. It's all thanks to the fine residents of this island who work together daily. Yes, yes, you have my thanks. I'd like to ask Blathers to say a few words as a representative from our newly remodeled museum. Blathers, if you would, just, uh, a word or two. Hoot indeed. I shall keep this brief. Ahem. Dearest residents of Candy Isle, it is an honor and a pleasure to take this moment to thank you for your continued support of the museum. Your diligent efforts have turned this museum into the grand, nay, the magnificent attraction it is today. So many fish, so many fossils, so many insects. Indeed, all who set foot, hoof, or paw in this museum have you to thank for the splendors they behold. And now we have opened a new addition, one I have dreamt of since I was but an owlet. Yes, a proper art gallery, one in which we shall display proper art, paintings, statues, proper 
Art! By Jove, my cultural and curatorial dreams have come true! Hoot hoot and hooray! I beg your pardon, my enthusiasm has me running at the beak once again. To the point then. As we celebrate this new wing of the museum, I feel I must entreat you. Please, continue to donate your acquisitions. I ask this not just for the betterment of the museum, but for the betterment of us all. Ooh, and thank you. Uh, yes. I mean... No! Thank you, Blathers, for those many... Many... Many words of wisdom. Sorry, I forgot what Tom Nook sounded like for a second. Next, a few words from someone whose valuable contributions made this remodel possible. Of course I mean Iggy. Our resident representative, hmm? Iggy? Anything to add? Woo! Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt, encouraging sentiments there, Iggy. Everyone. Please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a command of a photo should get ready to press the photo button. Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Candy Isle's beautiful museum. Hooray! Oh, shoot, I think I was a little late on it. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. I'm giving him the accent because he is from the country and he like moved to the big city later and Red cheated him and stuff. It, that's the lore. But he is just, he's just a simple country tanuki. Ready to, uh, ready to entrepreneur you a new house. I do like Tom Nook. I hate that people give him such a bad representation. And meanwhile, Red gets a good, ooh, ooh, sorry. I'm just angry about the way people treat Tom Nook and Red when Red is clearly a crappy scam artist and um, Tom Nook is just a nice contractor who donates all of his money to uh, to uh, to orphans, bro. Like, yes, if he was a landlord, it would be a problem, but at most he does a mortgage. But it's not a mortgage, it's a loan, because he builds the house. He loans you money with no interest to build you a home. He is a contractor and a good dude. Justice for Nook. All right. Okay, I have one last bridge to make and a couple inclines, and then that should do all the island stuff. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, let's talk infrastructure. I want to move houses around. What did I have in mind? Uh, layout changes. Hmm, where do, what do I want to move? I think... Do I want to move the shop? Yeah, maybe, well, let's move the campsite, actually. I'm going to put the campsite higher up now that we have inclines. Yeah, let's do it. I'll give the campsite a nice big view. So let me go do that. Oh, Isabel's smelling the flowers. Uh, what a dork. I love her. All right, let me go find a good spot for the campsite. Gonna tuck it up, up top here. I think somewhere with a nice view by the river. Ooh, what about like right here? This would be a good spot for it. Uh, I'll have to get rid of this tree. That's okay. Built here. Ooh, uh, I gotta scoot over a little bit. Um, here? Hmm. Not quite. I'm gonna scoot it back just a little bit. I want it to be flush with the cliff. So that nothing can, like, get stuck behind there. So this is the spot. There we go! New campsite! Alright. 
Okay, and now I'm gonna go... I'm gonna build a bridge here, right here. Um, there's trees in the way. I'm just gonna cut this tree down, I think. So let's just... Whoops, that is a shovel. That's not an axe. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. And then we get out the shovel. Get that stump out of there. And uh, let's just pick up this wood real quick. Alright, and now put it right in the middle of these light Doritos. I can't be the only one who thinks that that the little triangles are looks like just a floor full of spilt Doritos. Awesome. Next spot. And let's go see if Robin's in her house, since that's what I wanted to finish up with. Uh, no, she's not home. Okay, I'm gonna have to run around a bit, so I'm gonna run back to the ABD and get some manani to pay off the bridge, and then I'm gonna run around. I'm gonna run around and find, find where Robin got off to. I don't know what's up. I'm I, I'm having the worst time. She's probably in the museum. If I can't find her on the island itself. Uh, which is annoying when they decide to go into the museum like that. But I can't blame them. It's a pretty sweet museum. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to pull out 180. I like to have... I like to have 50k on me for expenses. That should do it. All right, and then we'll go pay off the bridge and look for Robin. Pay off the bridge, pay off the bridge, pay off the bridge, pay off the bridge. Lloyd, take my money. I'll help as much as possible. It's weird that he asks for the donation in the specific amount after you say you're gonna do it, which implies that you're just telling him how much to ask for. I don't, I don't get it. All right, reach the donation goal. So that'll be built by next time. Nice, nice, nice. And I do want to switch out this bridge. Um, with a- oh, crap! I scared him away. With a, uh, proper suspension bridge, now that that's the style of my island. Alright. So now we're on the hunt for Robin, wherever they may be. I don't know if Robin is male or female. I think female. But... I don't know. A new DIY recipe! We'll make. Alright. This fish. Oh. Catch the fish! Oh, Marcy was asking for a clam. I think that's too late, though, because she was asking for it yesterday. Tears. Tears for your fears, ladies and gentlemen. Tears for your fears. No, no, no. Ah, I gotta do... I gotta do, like, a weird angle. Yes. Yes, eat it! Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Oh, yeah, I should also do the daily doubles. What do we got? Uh, looks like spe sell a hot item. I have to figure out what the hot items are. Plant flower seeds and weave flowers into a wreath. Okay, I can do those. Um, so what do I need? I need to make a wreath. Mm, it needs to be a flower wreath specifically. Wreath, tulip wreath. I need three of each uh, basic tulip. Okay. So I'll pick those up on the way, and I'll figure out what I need for the hot item. Oops, come on. Come on. 
And I'm actually going to pick up those tulips anyways uh, to rearrange, so I'll be able to get it through that. Oh, cool. Surgeon fish. Ooh, big fish. Big fish. Nope, missed. I missed him. Come on. There he is. Oh. Oh. Sea bass. Okay. Did all that. Continuing the search. <clears throat> so she's not around here. Guess I'll just check the museum now since I have it over here. Boo -dee 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 -dee. Let's go check the bug exhibit. Let's check the insect. All right. Uh, ooh, jewel beetle. All right. And then we can check all through here. Robin, are you looking at the bugs? Are you looking at the bugs in the museum? Um, Harum. Okay, I don't know what that noise was. Uh, that's just a bench. Love the lighting in this exhibit. I like museums in general. That's one thing I... I want to do more often is just go to museums because they're so nice. It's just so so relaxed. You get to look at really cool stuff and learn. I love learning. I went on this like uh, like um, with my dad and brother. We went on a road trip from Seattle to um, New York. So it, it was a full cross country road trip, and we stopped by so many museums on the way. We got to see so much cool stuff. I got to see, like, uh, Nighthawks and Starry Night in person, which was so cool. The thing you don't notice about paintings. So you've seen, like, scans of paintings and such, right? So you, like, you know what they look like. You'd recognize them if you saw them. But, like, famous paintings, the thing you don't see in those scans is the texture. Like, the layers of paint. Like, if you look at a Jackson Pollock in person, the paint is, like, an inch thick. It's huge. And it's like, it's really, really cool to see, like, being able to see it from the different angles and the way light plays off of it. It's awesome. Definitely, definitely highly suggest going to museums of any kind if you uh, are able to. Because they're just fun, bro. They're just cool. Alright, I have not found her yet. Uh, oh, no, that's a diving helmet. That's a submersible. Okay, so, so far she's not in either of these exhibits. We do have the new exhibit. Um, I haven't actually shown off my museum, uh, but there's not a lot to show off because it's like the same as everybody else's museum. It just has slightly different stuff, which at some point, at some point once I've upgraded everything and gotten things the way I like them, I'm going to start just going through the Nook Miles stuff so that I can just like um, like max out all of those and I'm gonna go through and just like fill out my critterpedias so look forward to that on future streams probably um, I don't know maybe a month from now it's gonna take a bit because I got to rearrange everything all right let's go check the fossils fossils are cool another thing going to the Natural History Museum in New York and getting to see like the full t-rex skeleton Dude, so cool. All the giant, like, all the giant bones and the small bones, and man, it's so neat. There was one one point in the Natural History Museum in New York where uh, they had a, an exhibit where you can, and also check this out, if you stand here, it shows you the whole thing. So cool. Um, it, they had like an apatosaurus 
looped through the doorway. So as you walk through the doorway, you have to walk under the Apatosaurus vertebra and stuff. It was so cool. Oh man, the one thing, the one thing about it is it's so tempting to like want to just reach up and like just touch it a little bit, but nope, you can't, don't do it. Do not do it. Oh God, you want to so bad though. Oh yeah, also this, the uh, evolutionary tree, which also has a spot for me. And check it out. On the other end of it are the monkeys. And all of the ones that are, like, connected in some way. That's cool. That's really cool, dude. I just, I, I love, like, museums and stuff. Sorry. I'm, I'm geeking out at this point. But I think I earned some geeking out from time to time. Okay. I think we all deserve a little bit of geeking out. Whatever it is, whatever it is that makes you feel passionate. Whatever you like in this world. Feel free to geek out about it on occasion. As long as you still can hold a conversation without completely commandeering it to whatever it is you're interested in. That's rude. But if it comes up, you know, or you're in a situation where you're just talking, um, this exhibit is incredibly empty. I believe I have two pieces. <laughs> um, feel free to geek out, man. If it's, it's fun. It's fun to geek out on occasion. Uh, da, da, da. Ah, yes, I have this guy here, Moody Painting, which is The Sower by Jean-Francois Millet, circa 1850. Oh, so that inspired Van Gogh. Speaking of which, I have a Van Gogh here. It is Sunflowers by Van Gogh. Um... I I mean, you probably know this if you've already seen the Doctor Who episode where they go and meet Van Gogh, but uh, he specifically was an Impressionist because he was uh, nearsighted. So all he really saw was like the general swaths of color and things because everything blurred together. So um, that's why his stuff is so flowing and like... Uh, 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 uh striking in the colors because colors were his world that was about all he had because he didn't really have definition in the way that we did okay let's keep looking for robin i don't know she could be visiting somebody i don't want to go into all of the houses though because that would be frustrating could she be at the airport oh oh she could be could she i haven't seen any of them at the airport but like I could believe that they'd do that. Okay. Um, uh, is she over there? Oh. Uh, over here? Uh, no, I can't do that. I also, one time, Peggy was in these little gaps around the levels, so I actually might have to, like, swing through there and push her out. Which, uh, I don't like pushing them because they don't like it. And they will get mad at you, but... I gotta find her, man. Alright, let's just pop through here. Nope. Nope, not in there. Okay, let's go over here. If I can't find her outside, then she is indoors somewhere. Which means that I'll have to go through all of the houses and shops and things. So, she wasn't in the museum thankfully, because that one is, like, super, like, it's just huge. There's so much to check. Let's see, let's see. Is she through here? Nope. Not here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, guess I gotta start checking buildings. She isn't in her house. Um, Peggy is outside, so I don't think she'd be at Peggy's. Okay, she's not at Peggy's house. Uh, Quilson is out. Lucky is out. Okay, all these guys are outside. So they can't be there. Uh, let's chalk the nook's cranny. I don't know why I said it like that. Let's chalk the nook's cranny. 
Is she here? Nope. She is not. Sorry, I had to scratch my nose. I'll just scratch my nose. This might go over, slightly over uh, the 430 end that I estimated. But you know what? That's just extra content, bro. That's a little, little sum for you. Some a little extra for you while I find this friggin' bird. No, nope, not here. <laughs> Sorry, I confused Leonardo. Um, okay, not there. So she has to be in Town Hall. She's gotta be in Town Hall, in City Hall. Or at Mabel Sisters, I guess. Yeah, she has to be at the Mabel Sisters. There's no other spot for her to be on the island. Unless she moved out, which would be weird because she just moved in, like, recently. Either that or she's, like, hanging out behind a building? I'm gonna, If she's not in the Mabel Sisters, I'm just going to call it. Like, where else would she be? I keep saying she... I assume Robin's a she, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't do that. No, not here either. At Drago's? Drago? No. Oh no, she's gonna be at Cat's place. Do I care that much? Uh, nope, nope, not gonna do it. Sorry. Not gonna do it, guys. I gotta let Cat leave. So that's where I'm gonna call it for today, guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching in the future if you watch this on the past broadcast or on YouTube. Iggy Kid Twitch Streams is the channel to watch all of my uh, my uh, Twitch Archives stuff. Um, Twitch Archive. Iggy Kid Twitch Archive is what it's called. Uh, Iggy Kid, one word. And then also you can go to Iggy and the Ape at Iggy D Kid. All the stuff on the bottom there. You know, go check it out. My website and stuff. I'm uh, going to update my website soon because it's not great. I'm doing another stream on Wednesday and on Sunday. There's all the uh, schedule is below here on the browser version in a panel. So go check out the schedule. I keep it updated as much as I can. And I will update that with other stuff that I'm coming for. So thanks again for watching this. Um, if you are not already followed, please follow me. I It's free and it gets me that much closer to being an affiliate, which is my current goal. So please follow the Twitch channel and it will tell you whenever I'm streaming again if you don't want to do the schedule or you just want to see if I do a random stream. Sometimes I just drop in and do a weird stream. So yeah, please, please do that for free. I know subscriptions cost money, follows don't. So please give me a free follow. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So thank you very much. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye.